Hello everybody, you Youth Gain 92 NXT review for August 24th, 2016, and uh, playing some KOF 14. I'm telling everybody right now, quick thing about this game, everybody go buy this fucking game. This game is amazing, like, don't let the graphics fool you, I know it's not the greatest looking fighting game out there, but this game is fucking amazing. 50 characters at start, like, come on, you can't go wrong, it has everything good to go, this game is fucking awesome. So yeah, NXT man, NXT was basically uh, it was a two it was a two night show, uh, two match show I should say. Uh, stuff that was still taped in Brooklyn too, but uh, NXT Takeover Back to Brooklyn too. First match is uh, Ty Dillinger versus Wesley Blake. It appears that Ty Dillinger has gone full babyface, which I'm like, let's fucking do this. Uh, he's fighting the beautiful blonde Blake, you know, BBB. Uh, Blake comes out, you know, gets a chorus of boos. Uh, I kind of like Blake's music. It's kind of generic, but I don't know why I like it. But fucking, um, Dillinger comes out, gets a fucking massive pop as he always does. I'm telling you, it's time. It's time they push Dillinger. There's no other way to avoid it anymore. This guy is over. He's one of the best workers in NXT. Like, this guy has everything. He has promo skills, he has charisma, he's fucking, like, awesome. He's a great in-ring technician. Like, he's great. Uh, again, this is a good little match. Not Dillinger's strongest match, but it was good, you know. he Basically, you know, he got his babyface comeback in. He got all his good shit. They were chanting Blake's a zero while chanting ten at Ty Dillinger. That was awesome. And uh, uh, Blake is just like, no, I'm not. I'm not no zero. Uh, basically, uh, Dillinger removes the knee pad. He's about to go for the tiebreaker, which is an awesome name for his fucking finish. Let me just say that. And I'm so glad he's not using the golden view anymore. I really like the fireman's carry into the fucking, into the knee to the neck breaker. I think that's a great move for Ty Dillinger to be using as a finish. And it goes with the whole knee thing. Because he always, you know, once he takes down the knee pad, you're fucking done. Oh, let me fix my collar real quick. There we go. So yeah, Ty Dillinger wins clean. He's apparently a babyface. Let's see. I see a lot of money in Ty Dillinger. The guy's fantastic. We take a look back at Bobby Roode versus Cien Almas. Uh, good stuff here. Uh, TM61 will take on the Officer Pain, which I'm looking forward to. Another flashback between Austin Aries and Joe. I mean, uh, Austin Aries and Jose. Uh, another flashback looking at the Oscar uh, retaining Amber Moon. Basically, they show the little package thing where Amber Moon says. Yo, Bailey, I got you. I'm taking over your spot, basically. But in a good way, though. Bailey's like, I can't wait till we have a takeover match. Which I'm like, no, Bailey, you're in the main roster now. That can't happen. So. Um. Basically. It was just a recap of everything that happened at takeover. They recapped every single match. Which, you know, whatever. Um, we got another Sanity vignette, which I, I don't know if it's going to be Crazy Mary or Tommy N. I really hope it's Tommy N. I mean, that motherfucker needs to debut right now. And then we get TM61 for the Offers of Pain. The Offers of Pain, man, they look like beasts coming out in this fucking thing. They come out with these, like, it's weird, like, they this weird, like, mass slash, they look like they got the Finn Balor dreads going on, but there's, like, a fucking black skeleton. It looks sick, like... They look so sick in these masks. Uh, fuck it. This was a great match. I actually like this match a lot. I don't know what it is. I just, I just like the Offers of Pain. Like, they, they click for me. I don't know why. They're huge, but I never go, oh, man, these big guys can't wrestle. They, they know what they're doing. They sell well. Um, I like that. Freaking, and TM61. TM61 is, like... They need to be used more because these guys are fucking awesome. Uh, we know their names now. Uh, fucking one of them is Razor. Razor. Basically, there's like Razor or something like that. I don't fucking know how they were saying it. I was like, okay, okay. At least we know one of the guys' names. Uh, the other guys' names I can't really remember. Uh, yeah, I can't really remember the other guys' names. Oh, it'll probably come to me real randomly. So yeah, this was a great match. Good back and forth. Offers of Pain were actually taken down. TM this match was great for TM61. They didn't win, but they looked winners basically. They took down the Offers of Pain. They were taking. They kept taking them down. The Offers of Pain were actually had a regroup. Paul Irwin has these like, I'd be like, Yo guys, chill out, chill out. I got this. 
After they had the pep talk, though, the Officer Pain went back into domination mode. Uh, TM61 hit all their big stuff. They were this match was pretty stiff too. Like they were stiffing each other pretty good. I like that. Uh, Officer Pain basically take control. They hit the power bomb spot where they take both men, clank them together like fucking like T, and then they power bomb them both. They hit their finish, but they still I think they still don't have a name for. It. The whole uh, fucking Russian leg sweep into the clothesline at the same time. I thought that was a great, good match for the Officer of Pain. I'm telling you, these guys are legit. Like, I wonder, I don't know if these guys are just going to skip NXT. I feel like at this point, they kind of should. And, like, you know, let TM61 and, like, you know, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano and let those guys run the tag team division. Because the Officer of Pain, man, they're pretty legit. I like them. Like, I can see these guys coming out on Raw and just killing the fucking New Day. Like, no games... Just beat the shit out of them. So, yeah, NXT was a two-match show, but again, both matches entertained. I'm just happy Ty Dillinger's finally getting the recognition he fucking deserves. Like, Ty Dillinger's been one of my favorites for a while now, so... Let's see the Perfect Ten hopefully get some spotlight. I would not mind seeing him in a feud with Shinsuke Nakamura. Apparently, those two have been tearing it down on the house show, so I would like to see that on, you know, television. So that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. And everybody, please enjoy KOF. KOF is fucking awesome. I'm going to be playing this game a lot. It's really, really fucking good. So that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next time.